I love auctions. I mean, they're, they're so theatrical. Early off, early off, you never seen three, three, four, eight, nine, three, two, nine, three, nine. Love all that stuff. We're always looking to get the best and the brightest, working for the people who are the most vulnerable. There's some great rhyme in that. And in design, that's it. It's Elvis and the Beatles, isn't it? Johnny and Mark. The sale itself is going to have a number of objects which, loosely speaking, break down to either works that Johnny and Mark just really liked, or objects they really liked but they couldn't help but tinker with them. Or most tantalizingly of all, you've got these, uh, these objects where they've actually designed them from the ground upwards, which, which is really an incredible collaboration to see two of our time's most distinct designers who were able to come together. This really is a once-off. I mean, it, it's, it's like a Donatello and Michelangelo meeting point. So it, it, it's, it's extraordinary. This is about the history of of design as seen through through our eyes. What's so sort of wonderful about it is that it really does cross lots of boundaries. All of these works have an incredible sort of philosophical value and, and historical value within the context of, of design. It sort of puts a smile on your face because they are just so eclectic. The criteria that we both had was we yeah. just both wanted to own each one really badly. And there is a real thread that runs through these objects from a telescope to a spacesuit to a pen, to watchmaking tools, to a scooter, and across products that diverse, used in such incredibly different places to do very different things. As designers, you can't not be interested in many other things. Every one of the things that we've chosen exudes a certain integrity. When something's been developed that's focus and a preoccupation is about solving some really tough problems. Normally it's that process that yields the most beautiful objects. Manufactured objects, they testify to who made them. They describe values. I think these are all extraordinary pieces of design. Mark and I have known each other and we've been so close for so long. One of the things obviously invariably we talk about is design and what was just fabulous this time was we actually got the chance to go that step beyond the discussion and to, to start to prototype and to actually start making some things together. Creating slightly impossible forms is always fun and doing things in a way that illustrate and uh, exploit a certain level of craftsmanship. While it is made from a number of pieces of aluminium, the conceit of the idea is that they're all it's continuous, so it appears to be one singular form. The other piece is a camera that we worked with, the uh, Leica on. The Leica object embodies the most iconographic qualities of, of a camera. It ended up being a kind of process of distillation and, and yeah. sort of concentration. We wanted it to be light. We didn't want to make it from brass. We wanted to make it from aluminium. We used the most advanced tools that we possibly could to make it. I mean, we've made prototype after prototype and spent so much energy in making this as if we were going to make millions of them, but we're only going to make one. And we're only going to make one so that we can auction it in November. That will be the byproduct of somebody hopefully making a significant contribution to saving a lot of people's lives. It's very important to come out of the abstraction of a conversation about beauty and function into the concrete of real lives and real lives changed. This historic moment in the history of design is not just that. All proceeds go to fight HIV AIDS, go directly to the Global Fund. This pandemic we can beat. It's a winnable war. It will happen in our time. In the history books, there will be a chapter written on this, the greatest health crisis in 600 years. Here's a beautiful, here's a beautiful design. Now that's solving problems. Isn't that amazing? 50 days after you take that, you are back from death's door. Just taking a fucking pill. 
That's the most beautiful, that's the most beautiful object in the world. <laughs>